what is up Crocs and Clan members, Poke fans, and others who some on this video. I'm Sarah's Crocs in here, representing Justice League. What's up? I'm just kidding. This is not this is not what the video is about. The video, okay, so first off, before right, before I get into the actual meat of the video, I'm gonna give a special shout out to Nutter and his kids. I don't know why this man is showing my videos, me with my crazy antics and all my bad influence. And he's over here showing me the little kids. I don't know what is going on. But, you know, whatever. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Uh, and his son was actually asking why I haven't said anything about it. He's like, oh, what is sore or something? And I'm like, why are you showing your kids my videos, man? Uh, but anyway, so let's get into this. This is going to be about the announcements that uh, were released yesterday. And, well, not yesterday. Okay, yesterday when I'm recording the video two days ago when the video actually goes live so Wednesday <laughs> we're gonna put it like that this is gonna be for Wednesday uh, the new announcements for the Pokemon games that are coming out in the next uh, the two slash three coming out this year and then the one coming out next year so first off Pokemon Quest uh, I have not downloaded it and I'm not sure whether I'm going to or not because I mean it's a free to play but it's also mobile game style, and I really don't care for that genre of games, which is why I freaking got rid of Fire Emblem Heroes, I got rid of Pokemon Go, and I just I just don't care for mobile style games. I just I I don't really care for the free to play genre stuff. It's just really tedious and boring, and I get tired of it after like a week. Uh, it kind of happened with uh, Pokemon Rumble, the the one that came out uh, as a free to play on the 3DS. I got tired of that shit really, really fast. Like, I don't know. I just don't care for that type of, of gameplay. So I'm probably that's probably why I'm not going to get it. But, right, it's a cool concept. I mean, uh, it, we we had Pokemon Go. It was, it was about damn time they gave us a, another style of free-to-play games. Pokemon Universe, considering that's, like, an easy thing to do. Uh, but, it's, I mean, for whoever, because I've been here, a lot of people like it. So, like... Congratulations to those people. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Now, I know the, the big meat of the things is the Let's Go stuff, but I want to first talk about the 2019 game. Um, Cerebi has a thing that says Generation 8, and a lot of people are talking about that. Nitro uh, sent me uh, a picture of it on, on Twitter. It's like, hey, these three words, excitement. Uh, so, I mean, if it is Generation 8, that's cool, because it'll, it, it, I feel like they're gonna have enough time to flesh out this game, especially with what they basically done with Let's Go. Uh, they're gonna have, I think, Sun and Ultra Moon came out last year, which means they're gonna, by the time those games are finished, right, the development of that is not, like, when the game's released. There's a decent window since those games are released that the game's been finished. So because of that, they have they've had since the, they finished developing Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, they had they got their hands on the Switch, uh, and so that roughly gives them a little bit over two years or almost two years of development time. Because according to what they've been saying is that the 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 new Pokemon like main series title will be coming out on the second half of 2019. So they had the what you know during the halfway point of 2017 when they finished developing the games 2018 and then half of 2019 that's a decent amount of time to hopefully give us a good game because that's my only concern with this stuff i don't care what generation it is i don't care what you do just make it a good fucking game like i i need you to because this is going to tie into the let's go pokemon stuff but, like, this should be the best fucking game you've ever made. Like, this this should blow away the actual hardcore fan base that you've had for the past 20 years. This game that's coming out next year needs to cater to us. I know that sounds selfish, but it does. You've had enough time pleasing the casual fans. And while they're, they are important, right? They are important. Casual fans... Do help us out with sales, but the core audience, the hardcore fans, don't need this kitty shit anymore. Brings me to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. 
Generation 1 kind of re-remakes. Something that I've been saying for years. I was like, listen, I was going to be one of those guys that would go out, find the video where I first said this, show the, t the freaking uh, date stamp on it and everything, be like, yeah, see, I called that shit, but I'm not going to do that. That's too much work, and I don't have the time or the patience to do that. But just know, right, I've been saying this shit for years. <laughs> Ever since Sun and Moon came out, I was like, oh shit, they're gonna, Generation 1 re-remakes are on the way. Like, I just, I just know it. And then they did the, the whole thing in Sun and Moon with the freaking Ash going back to Kanto, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, again, bringing back the Kanto stuff with Gladian. You had freaking... Uh, Pokemon Go, the the, the re-release of the virtual console, Alola forms, Mega Evolutions for all these Kanto Pokemon. I knew it was coming. Okay, they were making it too obvious, which is why I kind of didn't want it to be that way. I would have much rather have a Gen 4 remake. But I will say this, okay, I'm kind of glad that this wasn't Gen 4 remakes because if this had been Gen 4 remakes, I would have been, I would have said fuck Gen 4 forever. <laughs> And when I say Gen 4, okay, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, best freaking games in, in the entire history of the franchise. I don't count Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver as part of Gen 4, even though it didn't come out in that. I see Gen 4 as Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. That's my Gen 4. Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver are remakes of Gen 2. So they're fucking Gen 2 remakes. That's, that's how they're classified. So... I'm not hating on Hard Gold Soul Silver. Okay, I love those games. They're really good freaking games. I'm glad, but I'm glad they didn't do that because I want to like Gen 4. I want to like Gen 4. And if this had been Gen 4 remakes, uh, I think I would have just given up on that generation forever. <laughs> Although I don't, I will say it's not the worst one anymore. Gen 6 is definitely the fucking worst one, at least in my eyes. Uh, but anyway, so speaking of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, I'm glad it exists because, again, it's supposed to be catering to casual fans. I personally don't care for it. I might buy Let's Go Pikachu just because it looks tight. Like, the game looks beautiful. Like, it looks fucking great. But I need more information on it. One, a little bit more information because you can't fight wild Pokemon? Excuse me? Since when is... When has this ever been a thing in a main series title? Although, that's the thing. I don't even know if I should consider it a main series title. What is this? Pokemon Coliseum? Okay, when well, you can't have wild battles? What? You can't do- How the freak am I supposed to level up these Pokemon? Are you gonna tell me I have to fight trainers and grind that way? That's not how this works. Okay, trainers have limited battle time. You can only battle them once, twice if you're lucky. And you're gonna tell me that I can't grind. What? Why are you taking away the freaking core RPG part of it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like, it just makes no sense. And I really don't, like, that's my biggest concern with this game and why I'm still hesitant on buying it. Because, like, I, I am ex I'm looking forward to it, but if I need to have Pokemon Go installed on my phone in order to train my Pokemon that I freaking caught in the game, that's not worth it. I am not about to grab the Pokemon, put it in the freaking phone just so I go, wee, wee, wee level it up. No, 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 no. I ain't, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. You're taking away one of the... I mean, let's put it this way. Not a lot of people like grinding, okay? That's... Uh, I don't know why people think it's so tedious. It's a freaking part of the game, okay? I like grinding in Pokemon. Like, it's fun to level up. That's just me, maybe. I don't know. But, I, I mean, that's a lot. There's a lot of people out there that I know that like grinding. That's part of, like, the charm of an RPG. So how are you going to take that away? <laughs> Again, I know this is supposed to be for the casual audience, which is why I hope Gen 8 caters to the hardcore fans. Because this, this is just... The game looks beautiful. I like the art style. The Pokemon look great. Pikachu slash Eevee follows you around. All this is wonderful. But this is a casual freaking game. This is not for me. This is not for the core audience. I was uh, I was watching Shofu's reaction to it. He was like, damn, this looks awesome. He was hyping it up. Bitch, I know what you are. There's the fr I, Listen, I, this is another thing. Tamashi said this in in her, on Twitter. Like, this, right? This, this, no, there's no meta game here. This is, first of all, you're only giving me the first 151 Pokemon. Why? I don't really, like, that, 
I really don't care for the Gen 1 Pokemon that much, so I don't need them exclusive. On top of the fact you're putting a Lola forms in there, which makes no fucking sense. But that's probably, you know what, that's probably why the recent update of Pokemon Go is like, oh, you're gonna get a Lola forms. They, they were teasing this shit when they did that. They didn't give us Gen 4 on Pokemon Go because a Lola forms needed to exist for this game. Oh my, see, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta connect dots, man. It's all conspiracy. <laughs> game Freak, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, but realistically speaking, am I gonna buy these games? If I do, I'm only gonna buy one, cause it's not, it doesn't look like it's something that I need to buy both versions of it. Um, and because I really don't wanna set that standard. I think the what, okay, hear me out. Okay, this is, this is coming from the freaking psychopath over here, okay? What if, what if, and this is just, a, this is just a thought, okay? I've been, I've been preaching that Pokemon and Game Freak alike, they cannot be doing two game releases on a console because the console market does not take well with that shit. They are, they, the console market is a very finicky area and I run into problems. If they release two games at once so because of that what if this is what we could what if this is the potential progress going forward you have the let's go style of game right the ones that are tied to Pokemon Go the ones for the casual fans you get the, the, the two game releases whatever they'll buy whatever the fuck they, you give them but the core audience games the one in generation 8 the one the one that we're expecting to be generation 8 we only get one fully fleshed out Focused on game. Okay, okay, okay. What? What? I think that would be cool, right? That would make it even better. That would make me more excited for whatever the the main core RPG is gonna be. Cause if it's just one game, if it's just one game, that means they they put more focus directly on that one game to make it as good as it can be. I think they should. I, that would be, of course. Who knows, Game Frame might just test the waters and throw out two freaking games, two titles in the same year and be like, oh, there you go, yearly releases, you get two of them. And then people are going to be like, really? You got to make me pay $60 for that shit? <laughs> nah, but like, so like, Pokemon Let's Go, or Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. You know, I need to see more. It's supposed to be still somewhat the same. Kanto wise, you just you go around, you do the trainer battles, gym leaders, and all that stuff. It's just that you catch Pokemon without battling anymore. I don't like that, but you can't because you can't grind, and that's like a core aspect of the freaking game, man. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I I am considering buying one, but only if. There is actually a legitimate way to grind your Pokemon. Because, like, this whole leveling up on your phone just does not fly with me. I, I'm not dealing with that. The little accessory they were showing off, I ain't buying that. I'm not going to go out. I already have two freaking Pokeballs. Uh, I think one of them is, like, a, one of those portable chargers. And then another one is, like, I don't even remember what the hell it is. But I already have two Pokeballs. I'm not going to buy a third one. Especially if I'm going to do, like... I could already do that with this. I mean, granted, this one doesn't have the functionality that the games will, but I'm not buying, or I'm not paying $30 for an accessory that all it does is make me pretend I'm throwing a Pokeball at the TV. Especially because if the thing slips, smashes into the... Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, shout out to Nutter and his son for watching the videos. You guys are cool. Make sure you guys leave suggestions for Viewer Fridays. That's, that's, your hey, Nutter, since you're going to be watching this video anyways, your son can pick a Viewer Friday. Go for it. That'd be fun. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts, comments in the comment section below. What did you guys think about Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee? What do you guys think about Pokemon Quest? And are you excited for whatever the hell we get in 2019? I I think I'm looking more forward to that one. 
because of the possibilities that we could get. So, yeah. That's going to be it. Uh, I've been Sars Croxton, and I will see you guys in future videos.